Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology, and we talked about recall, and we had a first wave of um, impressions that we would be able to uninstall it from PCs. Now, what it uh, looks like is that it will not. Um, new updates to the recall feature seem to uh, indicate that Although, yes, it will be opt-in, which means it won't be automatic. It will um, ask you for permission to start or not, but it will not. Uh, so you, you can just leave it, you know, not working. But it will not be uninstallable, apparently. So, of course, you know, we have all sorts of tools. Some people use uh, different tools to, to uninstall apps. So it's a possibility that you know those uh, those programs will probably um, be able to re remove the recall feature itself, but in the Windows itself, in the uninstall of apps or anything that has to do with the recall, uh, it seems that the uninstall has disappeared and it's not there, which kind of indicates, and which also doesn't surprise me, that Microsoft just wants you to have it on your PC, that's it. And they'll give you the possibility to just opt in, which means you will have to, you know, uh, say yes, you want to use it if you want it, but that's the only thing it's going to offer you. It's not going to offer you to remove it completely from the system. Just like Copilot, which, um, you know, has no uninstall capabilities anymore. So uh, this is sad because I know a lot of people want to remove that. And we talked yesterday about how users want to have their PCs running as smoothly as possible, especially uh, a lot of the uh, tech, you know, tech enthusiasts that just thrive to have the fastest running PC in the world. And they will tweak all of that to try to have the fastest PC. And, uh, you know, knowing that there's no one installed for it is um, probably going to be a, a bummer for a lot of people. But unfortunately, it seems that, nope, no one install of recall. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.